Hello and welcome back to another episode on the Minecraft Handbook. Now today we're going to be doing a video on how to do some backups both manually and using automatic features in the game um, for your Minecraft world. Uh, now obviously we're in a fresh world, I couldn't do this with the current Minecraft Handbook world because we of course play that in the latest snapshot version depending on what's out at the time and at the moment 1.16.3 is out and we've already moved over onto that and so I can't actually um, show some of the methods in that so we've gone into a fresh world uh, we're in 1.16.2 and what this means is that you know we're now ready for the upgrade to 1.16.3 you know we've got all of our netherite blocks but on top of this um, you know instead of just backing up because of an update rolling out and things might break obviously that's a major concern especially things like redstone um, you know you also want to be backing up your worlds for several reasons. If you're playing in hardcore, um, you could find yourself dying at any point, and yes, it is cheating, and I wouldn't condone it myself. Um, you know, you can of course use a backup to give back your world. Um, you know, if you want to continue the survival. Uh, on top of that, you know, if your survival world just suddenly becomes corrupted on your computer, if you have a problem with um, you know the world when you're trying to load it up again um, often this is something to do with the snapshots uh, that's something that happened to me actually uh, my Minecraft handbook world that just disappeared um, and the whole reason for it was because of the fact that I updated to a new snapshot it wasn't ready for it and it crashed um, and what that meant was I had to restart a whole bunch of work but at least I still had the, the backup you know, it wasn't necessarily the most updated thing, but I had the backup. I could actually recover what I'd done. I didn't have to start a brand new world. And that's what we're trying to avoid here today by doing this. So obviously, in this world, we've got our oh, netherite. We've got our base that's floating above the lava. You know, you obviously wouldn't want to give up this kind of build, you know, this kind of world. And we're going to go through some of the tips on how to kind of avoid this by backing up your world. So um, I'm going to do the automatic and manual methods. Um, the automatic referring to in the menus for Minecraft um, how to do it and then the manual method I'll show afterwards and that will be going into your actual folders. Now I'm doing this on a Windows PC and so I will be doing it from that point of view. Um, it's not too different from a Mac's point of view. Uh, if you guys need help I do have knowledge of how Max works so I can try and help you guys out but anyway let's get into this one so first of all, things first obviously as I say we're on 1.16.2 I'm gonna head over into the 1.16.3 version and I'll show you how to do it from the menu system there and so we are in the 1.16.3 version if we go down to here you can see that that is the case now if you click on single player you can see my super important world that's that's kind of sitting here but it says version 1.16.2 which what that means is it's not updated to 1.16.3 so of course what we're going to do is we're going to click on play selected world as we'd normally do and when we do this it asks us do you really want to load this world this world was last played in version 1.16.2 you're on version 1.16.3 please make a backup in case you experience world corruptions now, this is super important um, I always, especially with my Minecraft handbook world, because obviously it is my Let's Play series, I always make a backup, and I heavily advise you guys to. It saves a lot of stress in the long run, um, in the event that something does go wrong, if something gets corrupted, or if anything else happens, should you need the world to be kind of reloaded. So obviously you can click, I know what I'm doing, and you know that will skip making a backup, but as I say, I'd heavily advise against clicking this one, what you want to do is click uh, on create backup and load so if we do this it will come up reading world data it will then generate and you'll see in the top right it will say the size now obviously with bigger worlds the more you play on a world the bigger the world file will be um, and it could take a little while I know when I do my handbook um, like backups it's usually a gigabyte or so of kind of backup it takes a little while to actually generate but obviously we then hop in and you know it's it's nice to have the safety net of having the backup and as you can see everything came through as normal so that's super awesome and a super quick method it's really handy that a minecraft uh well, mojang added that um to minecraft so you guys don't have to think too much when updating between versions but anyway guys 
I'm going to head over into um, my percent app data roaming um, for file, uh, folder so I can show you the dot .minecraft, uh, .minecraft folder and how to do a backup manually through there. And so we're over in the dot .minecraft folder. Now to get to this if anyone doesn't know, what you want to do is type in percent app data percent backslash dot .minecraft backslash saves and that will take you to your saves folder. I can't give you the exact do uh, like direct address outside of that because depending on your user setup for your actual uh, computer itself it will be different compared to mine. Now if we go into the saves folder obviously it's all labelled um, in folders for the exact world and it will be typed exactly the same as before. So if we look at super important world you know that that world is the world that we had just a second ago and we're going to be wanting to manually back this up so what we do is we right click on it and then it gives you all the options um, obviously this is a Windows thing um, it's slightly different for Cro uh, sorry for Mac but it's virtually the same um, you know you can then go down to here and it will say send to and if you send to compressed zipped folder that will then zip this and that's really it I mean that's that backed up what you can do is if you want you can copy it or cut it I'm gonna cut it real quick um, and I'm using control X to do that quickly if anyone doesn't know the shortcuts and then if you go back into your dot minecraft folder you can then go to your backups folder if you have it if you don't have it that's probably because you don't have any backups made already you can just create the backups folder by right clicking going uh, where is it I can't find it now that's because I'm still selecting on saves uh, you can click on new and then folder um, and then create backups like that but if we go into here obviously we can see the dates of when things were made um, you can see all of my uh, Minecraft handbook worlds that have been kind of put in here um, but the top here we've got our auto generated backup from earlier and we can paste with control V for the shortcut and that will put the manually created backup in the backups folder as well so yeah guys, that's going to be it for it, um, hopefully this has explained how to get your backups a lot easier, um, you know, the video I've, uh, regarding restoring backups, I'm going to link um, on screen at the end, a lot of people, you know, seem to be enjoying that video, so I thought I might as well make a video on how to create backups, just in case, you know, I think it'd be super useful for you guys, and yeah, see you in the next one, bye.